kwa kawaida kinywaji hiki unakitumia kujiburudisha wakati unajua ama unampa mtoto wako lakini leo hii kinywaji hiki tunakitumia kwa kupika chakula chakula cha aina gani ni mwenyewe sijui lakini tulipotembea kitengela siku moja tukapata mama huyu ambaye ni mchungaji ana ujuzi mwingi wa kutengeneza vitu kadha wa kadha ambazo mimi mwenyewe sina ujuzi ni ndani ya tamu show utamu halisi hii ni yoga tu wengine watasema ni maziwa chacha lakini baada ya muda usiokuwa mbali mwa utamu halisi ndani ya tamu show mimi ni wangu igashanja. We are back. Thank you. Wajuki <laughs> <laughs> mgeni kuja mara ya kwanza arudi tena. Sijui walisema unampea jembe. Akalime. Eh. <laughs> Sasa leo unatupea jembe. Hii ndio tutalima leo. <laughs> <laughs> Kama nilivyokuwa nimekueleza mpenzi mtazamaji tumerejea hapa mjini Kitengela ambapo tuko kwa mama Mtume Apostle ama mchungaji mama mchungaji mama watoto mke Sadvinda Romi ambaye ametukaribisha tena kitengo hiki cha MBCI TV na leo anatupikia maziwa mala sasa maziwa mala itapikwa jamani leo tunapika biryani oh si maziwa mala kwa kutumia maziwa mala ndio kabisa sasa siwache niende tu nikule nayo ugali story ishe ah kile nitapika ukishamalizana na hii biryani na hii maziwa mala eh. hautatamani hiyo ugali tena <laughs> <laughs> Kwa hivyo leo biryani. Leo biryani. Na naona kuna nyama, mayai, maziwa. Au oh, ushanichanganisha wacha tulikuwa ndio kweli. Tutaenda step by step. Mafuta, nyama, mayai, maziwa mala. Aha. How do you even combine all those things? You'll see. Kwa hii tumbo moja. Ha, utaona. Yakichanganishwa wote pamoja. Eh eh. Utaona vile itatoka. Biryani chakula cha Kiswahili, cha Wakikuyu, cha Wahindi, unajua wewe kabila ndio ulikuwa kwa <laughs> Waswahili wana biryani yao. Mm -hmm. Ukienda India unakuta biryani. Ha? So lakini leo tunapika ya Kiswahili. Biryani ya Kiswahili. Yes. Ha? Kazi kwako. Asante. Kwanza kabisa tuko na kilo mbili ya nyama ya mbuzi. Mhm. Mm ambayo tumeshaosha. Lakini kwanza nitanoa mkono. Kisha tukaweze kuendelea kwa sababu kuna mahali ambapo nitatumia mkono. Nitatumia mkono. So, tutaenda step by step. Mimi wanatumia macho. Mm -hmm. Lakini kwa sababu ya mtazamaji nitatumia mkono. Uh -huh. So hapa kilo mbili ya hii nyama na imekatakatwa na hatutachemsha kwa sababu biryani will take very long kwa sufuria. Mm -hmm. Unaweza ukatumia pressure cooker, kama una pressure cooker unaweza ukatumia sufuria. Mm -hmm. Lakini remember it will take very long. So kwanza kabisa tutaanza na Kwa nini iwe ni nyama ya mbuzi? Unaweza tumia hata kuku lakini kwa sababu ina take very long kwa jiko kuku mm. inaanza ika ika ah, kwa thread, ika kwa rojo. Eh. Uh -huh. ah, kuna watu wanafanya biryani ya kuku by the way. Lakini mimi uh -huh. I love ya mbuzi. Ini 1 liter. Mhm. Uh -huh. tunaweka. Unaweza tumia maziwa mala yoyote lakini usitumie lala. Usitumie lala, uh -huh. tumia mala. mala. So hii yote nimeweka hapo. Now the problem is sasa unajua huwezi kutoa yote. Mm. Sasa mimi sipendi ku waste dadangu. <laughs> Kwa nitakata hii box. Sitaki ku waste kabisa. Mm -hmm. Kwa hivyo nitakata hii box. Alafu hapa niko na kitu ya kuscoop. Nita scoop na utarealize bado kuna a lot, a lot of yogurt inside. Now especially here angalia. Mm. Sina na angalia. It's a lot of yogurt na sitaki ku waste because yogurt is expensive. So unaweza kupika hata kilo moja. Mm -hmm. Na unaweza kupika kwa hata kilo whatever you want lakini leo nimepika na hiyo. So uta divide tu ingredients zenye ninafanya. So hiyo ni scoop. Tukimaliza hapo the next very important ingredient kwa hii biryani mm -hmm. ni tomato paste. Kwa nini tutumie nyanya kawaida? Tutumie tomato paste. Itavuja maji. Mm. itavuja hiyo maji. Mm -hmm. Na tomato paste itafanya ishikane. Utaona rojo itakuwa thick. Mm -hmm. Rojo itakuwa very thick. So tunataka kupima na kikombe 
kwa sababu sasa mi ningepima na macho lakini sitaki mtazamaji hapo tendele kupima hiyo pale tumetumia um, yogurt ama yogurt. maziwa mala yes. kwa nini si lala lala ni maji maji sana na unjua mbuzi yeah. mbuzi ikichemka uh -huh. iko na maji yake yenyewe uh -huh. so it will be too watery Biryani nataka thick rojo. Ndio unaona ndio tofauti tunatuma. ya mala na lala ni kwamba lala ni maji maji, uh -huh. mala ni mzito zaidi. Oh. So hiyo tunaona ni one cup. Unaona vile inatumia mingi. Nitaongeza nyingine. Hey. Another cup of. This is what will give it a tangy taste. Wengine wanaweka pia popo. Uh -huh. Yeah. Wengine popo. yeah, wanaweka pia popo. Lakini wakati hiyo biryani imeka the next Mkoja day nasikia. Iki tutapika. Hey, sindio kabisa. Na sasa wenye wataeka popo yogurt na popo. Yogurt wanaeka pia popo, lakini mimi sipendi uchachu wake, testi yake hiyo ya uchachu. Uh -huh. Sipendi. Hii imetosha so, hii imetosha. Naweza nikasema sasa with confidence, uh -huh. two cups of tomato paste. Uh -huh. Now we come to the powdered ingredients. Uh -huh. Unaweza ukaweka ingredients nyingi sana. Tumeweka sasa hiyo tomato paste mm -hmm. ambayo ni 2 cups. Mm -hmm. Alafu sasa tuko na different ingredients. Tutaka cinnamon. Sasa hizi ni masala. Mm -hmm. Kwa sababu unataka test ya masala. Actually, cinnamon iko very sharp. Mm -hmm. So what I will do kwa sababu ni kilo mbili nitaweka 1 teaspoon of cinnamon. Mm -hmm. Nikale sana hii cinnamon. You can use any brand by the way. You can use any brand. So hiyo ni as long as it's cinnamon. As long as it is cinnamon, uh -huh. you can use any brand. So hiyo ni cinnamon. Na naona cinnamon natumiwa kwa vyakula vingi sana. Sana. Ni nzuri sana. First of all the smell is very good. You get the smell hata chakula kishaiva. The smell is there. Mm -hmm. The taste is there. Cinnamon is also very good by the way. Kwa wale ambao tunataka ku sleep. Waniulize. Cinnamon ni nzuri sana ukiweka kwa sali. If you go to Ethiopian restaurants mm -hmm. when they give you their black tea wanachemsha maji wanaeka cinnamon alafu wana strain kwa kikombe wakikuletea kwa hoteli unakuta unaeka tea bag alafu maji already iko na boiled cinnamon the taste unaweza uliza ni tea bag gani mm. but it's the cinnamon oh. so unaeka hiyo 1 teaspoon kada mom nayo unataka kuweka kidogo ndio sasa hapa hata wewe tu ni tunaona producer <laughs> kesho ataanza kufanya hivyo <laughs> alafu sasa kada mom hili uh -huh. iliki uh -huh. sawa uh -huh unaweka tu half teaspoon manake pia ni very sharp uh -huh. ili ki arufi yake ni nzuri sana, sana hata kwa chai na pia it's good for digestion uh -huh. oh alafu, okay yeah very good for digestion uh -huh. alafu tunaona hapa kuna mustard seed mustard ni cumin cumin seed zile zenye ziko na very unasikia nyenye Yesu anasema chembe cha haradali uh -huh. mustard Ndiyo seed sasa mustard uh, sasa mustard pia small. ni ndani kali sana pia uh -huh. tutaka hii a quarter teaspoon hiyo kota kwa kilo mbili mm -hmm. yeah kota kwa kilo mbili alafu my favorite spice coriander uh -huh. coriander sasa uh -huh. hii dania hii sasa nita enjoy nayo i'll enjoy myself with it uh -huh. nimeka hiyo na niteka ingine tablespoon two tablespoon coriander uh -huh. is beautiful i will even add the third one uh -huh. It is very beautiful. It atoa very nice. Don't get worried about all these spices. Yeah, that was the question you want to ask. Zitaingia ndani. They are too much. No, no, no. Zitaingia ndani hiyo nyama. Mhm. You won't even nini. So we have garam masala. Mhm. Garam masala I only put 1 tablespoon. Garam masala. Ni sasa masala zote but mixed together. So 1 tablespoon. Okay. Okay, I like spices. Naweza kata another tablespoon lakini umecomplain wacha nisike. Then what you should not miss mm -hmm. kitungu saumu tangauzi. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. So here we have tangauzi which is ginger. ginger. So this is freshly imep. Mm -hmm. Now what Lusha we do is we, we put it in the fridge. Mhm. Mm Ndio unaona iko ngumu so nimeweka tablespoon moja. Alafu kisha tuta tuatoa hivi because naeka kwa freezer mm -hmm. siki kwa fridge. Ndio hey. isikuwe black black mm -hmm. isiharibike. So hiyo ni tablespoon moja. Hiyo ni tablespoon hipped nyingine ya pili mm -hmm. na niteka tablespoon nyingine This is 2 kilos of meat eh? mm -hmm. so I am being generous with the, with the spices yeah with the spices you will not even unajua tena kumbuka mala itakata Ah oh, eh kwa sababu ina mala itakata wake. eh sasa hiyo ah. ni hiyo tatu mm -hmm. alafu sasa tunataka kuweka garlic kitunguu 
kitungu za kitungu cha saumu ya saumu which is a very good ingredient hapa pia imetoka si unaona tumeka mafuta kidogo isi haribike mm -hmm. uh, saumu tutaweka mbili saumu tutaweka mm -hmm. mbili nimeka mafuta isi haribike uh -huh. so saumu nitaweka mbili okay uh -huh. aya so tunifunye aya tusisahau chumbi sitaweka at this point Nilikuwa niulize kwani kitakula kiepi chumbi na naona karibu mpaka mafuta tunaweka hapa ndani. Hatutawe hatutaweka mafuta, mm -hmm. hatutaweka chumbi. Mm -hmm. What is the reason? Chumbi inafanya nyama ikue ngumu. Ah, hata ukichemsha nyama mm -hmm. usiweweka chumbi. Oh. Now usually I would work with my hands. Mm -hmm. Lakini wacha ni work na spoon for the sake of hygiene. So una mix his ingredients zote pamoja. No, no. Mm -hmm. Na mix una coat every piece of nyama with this ingredient. Na usijali pia zikiwa kwa sufuria they'll be coated but it's good you una coat coat all the ingredients pamoja. So this mm. is also like a marinade. Una marinate. Uh, no, no. Almost like the process of chicken tikka. Mm -hmm. Almost this is almost the process of chicken tikka. Actually kama sasa hii ingekuwa chicken tikka ningekuwa sawa. Eh. Kenye ningeongeza hapa ni rangi. Rangi peke yake orange kidogo. So ndio hiyo tuna coat every piece of the meat. Sasa hizi every piece is coated. Na usiweke chumvi kabisa tafadhali usiweke chumvi kwa sasa ndio uh -huh. kuonesha stage ya chumvi. Na ikiwa mtu hana hivi vitu vyote ama hizi spices zote kama hauna zote mm -hmm. unaweka tu vile nimefanya tumia tu garam masala mm -hmm. garam masala iko na all the spices nenda mm -hmm. tu nione garam masala uweke kusimis coriander eh. garam masala na coriander mm -hmm. they are very important na ujue coriander ni dania inaweza ikapatikana hata tu pale kwa soko can you use ile ambayo ni original si powder hapana for this Lazime side kwe powder. Eh, unajua hata dania ukipika chakula inataka uweke last moment mm. Unaona? Eh. Uh -huh. Uweze dania mbichi hapa. Oh. Eh. Many ingredients here want to be powdered. Why? Because you want them all to zingie ndani mm -hmm. hapa. So mimi nimemaliza. What we are going to do tutachukua pressure cooker because we are saving on time. Mm -hmm. Kama una pressure cooker unaweza ukachukua sufuria pia. Nitakuonesha wakati ime eva how do you know? Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do is nitachukua pressure cooker yangu. a clean pressure cooker and then we're going to put the meat all of it to the hapa all of it yes so so do yeah all of it that is done all right so that is done now for pressure cooker at turkey any fault so we're going to wipe here we're going to wipe all this here and uh, allow me to use the paper because of the rubber rubber ya pressure cooker mm. so nita wipe hapo tayari juu nita wipe hadi hapa bado tuweki mafuta hakuna mafuta tunaenda process number 2 biryani ina process nyingi sana na hakuna kitunguu hata hiyo nitakuonesha Haipiku hapa. Kitungu hapiku hapa. So, I make sure my rubber is clean and is intact. Mm -hmm. Kisha, nitachukua hivi. Nafinya na safely locked. Mm -hmm. Itabeba hiyo bidhani yangu pasipo na maji. kisha nitaasha kuka yangu hiyo kubwa na nitaekelea unaweza kaeka medium heat so that all the ingredients don't burn uh -huh. so hapo nimeka medium heat inaendelea hapo katika medium heat wakati hii inaendelea tutakuja tuweze kufanya kazi nyingine hapa